What's the bit about pay when Sid? We're going to work through the formula sheet looking at physical analysis for standard deviation. So here we have our formula for standard deviation. S is my standard deviation is equal to the square root of my individual values minus my mean squares. So we're taking each of those differences, square them, and then we're going to add all those differences together and take that whole thing and divide by the number of samples I have minus one. So if you don't know how to find the mean, you may want to go back to my last video, which is about mean, um, and that will tell you how you can find that X bar or that mean. So treatment of tomato plants with a growth hormone yielded the following weights of tomatoes, 104, 82, 121, 96, 108, and 73 grams. What is the standard deviation of the tomato masses after treatment? So I know that I have six values, one, two, three, four, five, six, and my N is going to be equal to six. And we sub that into the formula. Um, so I'm going to do the summation of my individual values. So the 104, the 82, and so on. Minus 97.3. That is my mean. If you again go to that last video, you'll see how I calculated that mean. And I'll take each of those and I'll square them and I'll add them all together and divide by 6 minus 1 because my sample size was 6. So if I sub all of that into my formula, as I said, well, this is my xi. So each of my values is going to get subbed into the equation. Um, so I'll take each of those individual values minus my mean, and I'll divide it by 5. Um, so you want to, of course, square them. So 6.7 squared, because that was 104 minus 97.3. Um, and I did that for each of those. I found their differences. I then squared each of those differences, um, added all of them together, give me 1547.34. And I divide that by 5. And that will give me um, the square root of 309.468. When I do that square root, I get that my S is 17.59. Now, there is a way to shortcut this using your calculator. You are allowed to use a TI. Um, so these directions are based off of TI-84. You click the button for stat. You then click edit, and you press number one, which is edit. Um, you're going to go to the, press the enter button. Under L1, you'll enter each of your values. You'll then quit. Press the second mode. You'll go into stats. You'll do the one variable statistics. Press that enter button twice and then the SX is going to be your standard deviation. So give you a moment that you can pause this video and you can calculate this on your own. See if you can calculate that standard deviation. So the initial mass of pumpkin cores was measured in grams. What is standard deviation? The initial mass for the pumpkin cores round to the nearest hundredth. Now, oftentimes with these questions uh, in AP Bio, they're going to tell you what to round to. Um, so they'll either say round to the nearest whole number. So that would be the number without a decimal. They can say to the tenths, which would mean that we have one um, number past that decimal place. Hundreds would be two decimal places past and thousands would be three decimal places past. Um, here is a reminder of your formula in case you needed that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six values. So my n is going to be equal to six. I sub that into the equation of summation is equal to individual values minus 30.26 because that is my mean. Take each of those differences squared, add them together. Six minus one because I had again six is equal. To, I'm sorry, n is equal to six. Um, so if I sub each of those values into my equation again, 29.15 minus my mean, and then you take each of your values um, and you're going to subtract the mean from them. Um, square each of those differences. Differences, and then that's going to add all those together. And that'll give us 11.3, sorry, 11.3009 divided by your uh, n minus one, which was five, which is giving us the square root of 2.26018. Now I did keep all my decimal places just to kind of show you using them. If it was me, I would round to one decimal place past what I needed if I was needing to carry the trailing um, numbers. Um, so my standard deviation is 1.5034. It tells us to round it to the nearest hundredth place, so that's 1.50. Hope this was helpful. Remember, if I pay, we just assess by all.